I gotta find that spy. Maybe I should ask around. Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Of course. I'll go... Have a moment, Captain? Depends what you need it for. Just want to get to know you better, Captain. I don't usually mix business and pleasure, Lieutenant, but... Ask away and we'll see which questions I feel like answering. You from Ophir? Born and raised. Father was an officer. Mother was a quartermaster. And I've rarely ventured outside the walls before a few scattered missions. Sound familiar, Lieutenant? Very familiar, Captain. Except my parents weren't officers. Which makes your rise even more noble, Lieutenant. How was your rise to Captain earned? Hmm. Over time. But by no special action by me. Graduated as a corporal, and thanks to the brave men underneath me, their success and missions became mine in rank. No heroic feats to dazzle you with in stories. Just a lot of time and dedication that I'm proud of just the same. What do you think of us? Honestly, Lieutenant? I'm not quite sure yet. You Technomancers are new to me. Undoubtedly special, and capable of feats my other units couldn't dream of accomplishing, but... Time will tell. That said, I've been quite impressed. I thought it was the definition of insanity to send you and so few of your men on some of those missions. Missions I would have anticipated needing ten times the manpower for. So far, you've proven me wrong. <laughs> A rare feat in itself. So even though it's taking some time getting used to, I couldn't be happier you're one of my troops. Can I ask about your relationship with ASC? Tread carefully, Lieutenant. One might start to wonder the purpose of your questions. But here's my answer. We're all forced to work with them, but it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Too much power too quickly leads to arrogance. They're brash and too quick to act. And quite frankly, as they've risen in power, it's no coincidence that the dissenters, deviants, and rebels have risen in numbers. And they're a great source of intel, however they get it. I sleep better at night not knowing the means. But I've always thought the army was strength enough, that the ASC was overkill. I trust you won't repeat anything I've said, Lieutenant. I'd hate for both of us to find ourselves enemies of the state over a little frank conversation. My lips are sealed, Captain, and I appreciate your candor and trust, more than you know. Everything's clean in here. It's just like the captain's work. Nothing that implies she's working with the ASC. Your command, Lieutenant. I have a second to talk? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Like, just you and me, or...? Yeah, just you and me. I like to know my men. Wow, that's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be a huge honor, Lieutenant. Your command, Lieutenant. So what's your life like when you're not on duty? I tell you the truth, Lieutenant, not much to tell. I, I try to visit the city, make some friends, 
You know, because I don't really know too many folks yet. And my whole family's back in Greenhope, which is kind of too far to travel for my leave. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, you know, I try to still do some hunting. Though there's not much more than small critters in the underworks, not a great hobby for the city. You have a good childhood? Oh yeah, you know it, Lieutenant. Really nice growing up, running around in the fields. Father gave me a crossbow, and I spent my time helping the farmers shoot critters hurting their crops. They were good times, Lieutenant, but everybody's got to grow up and move on. There was a lot of hunters in Green Hope, too. Plus, I always dreamed of being a soldier. Mostly, though, because there was a girl back home who loved men in uniform, so... Off I went to the big city to join up. And, you know, since I was a sharpshooter, they signed me up and sent me here. Still not used to it. All the buildings, all the folks, and all the concrete. But I'm happy, though. Feels like a Green Hope souvenir stand. Kid must be missing home. Unless being messy is a crime, though. Doesn't look like he's doing anything wrong. Lieutenant? I want to know my men better. Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, great. Show and tell. Yay. What do you think about Jeffrey Hunter? He's a village idiot who thinks he can brown-nose his way to a promotion. Fucking reject. And no, he ain't my friend, if you haven't pieced that together. What do you do when you're off-duty? Nothing special. See my folks, I guess. They ain't getting any younger, so... And I give most of my paycheck to them, because I'm the only one they got left. Sister died. And I ain't married, so... When I ain't with them, I'm at the bar. Drowning the shitstorm that my life's become. Not exactly a picture-perfect life, but it's mine. And hell, I get paid enough to help them out and buy my own drinks, so... What's there to complain about? I'm gonna leave you alone. Seems you'd rather be that way anyway. I can't open it without a code. I want to know about your childhood. You really want to know about my childhood? Sure, yeah, why not? My dad was never around. He was either on the front or doing drills. My mother, though, she was stationed here in Ophir. So we lived in a guard outpost in the slums where she worked. I never expected to make more of myself than become a soldier. I fought a lot as a kid. Had my share of girls. But home life was pretty strict, so I tried to toe the line. Mostly because when I fucked up, I never got off easy. So when'd you join? Five years ago. Time fucking flies, don't it? It was in 126. My parents were beaming with pride. Pride that's faded when, after all this time, I'm still just a fucking private. How old are you? The fuck does it matter to you? Older than you, though. And the rest you can find in my file. Cool, moving on. It's got my whole schedule in here, and the names of every single person we saw together. It must have been Dave keeping tabs on me the whole time. Never would have believed it. I guess if you could spot them, though, they wouldn't be so damn powerful. Lieutenant? 
Lieutenant? I know you're a drinking man, so what do you say we go grab one together? Looks like it's my lucky day. Sure, why the hell not? Lead the way. So why don't you cut the bull and tell me why we're really here? Sure. You've been spying on me, Dave. Been reporting everything back to Victor. I don't like rats. That's not all right with me. And what? You think I ever had a choice in the matter? Think I had the option to say no? I don't care. All I know is they got all the intel they wanted on me from one of my own soldiers, and I don't know why. What's your angle, Dave? You bitter you got a mancer as your lieutenant? I thought we were past all that. What'd they promise you? Promotion? Better pay? Nothing but a promise they wouldn't hurt my parents. Is that a good enough reason? I don't like the ASC. Don't like what they're doing to Abundance. Don't like what they're doing to me. I don't like the deal they offered, and I don't like I didn't have a choice but to accept it. I ain't got no one but my folks since my sister died. Not that I expect you to shed a tear for me, but... If I gotta choose between them and you... Sorry, brother. You're on the losing end of that. If it helps, though, I don't think you're the full prick you were before we had this little chat. In fact, I might even have liked you in another time and place. But you're in deep shit now. And it's shit I don't want to get pulled into with you. I don't want your blood on my hands, David. But I can't let you keep doing what you're doing. So I'm just gonna tell you to get the hell out of Ophir and don't look back. I don't... sure. Yeah, sure. Bye, Lieutenant.
Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I found the mole. David Ward was running lines for the ASC. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So, what happened with this ward? I couldn't find it in myself to kill him, so I released him and let him run, like a rat. I would assume he's still running, and we'll never see him in Ophir again. The full blame cannot be cast on him. There are few who the ASC cannot bend to their will. We'll cross our fingers. Hopefully this soldier is gone for good and does not find himself arrested before he should escape. Lieutenant, I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now... He's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying? You defuse the rebellion, but in a way that makes you seem pretty pro-mutant. Now, I told you myself, I'd give you a chance to explain, but you better talk quick. In the ASC, there's zero tolerance for mutant sympathy. And if you don't have a different version to tell, Victor's hinting at collateral damage. I don't know what's going on. Someone's trying to bring me down, and they're lying to Victor to do it. Only thing I used to calm the rebellion was a little reason and logic, which the rebels heard. Anything accusing me of anything else is a lie. All right. Fair enough. But you'll have to make your case to him as well. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Want to explain that? How do I explain something that's not... If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain, the only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. I know what you've accomplished. Also know what he's saying. And even if he's not a fan of Technomancers, that alone wouldn't motivate him to make all this up to frame you. And the list of accusations and the details is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Almost more lies than ink. Never would have expected it from you, Lieutenant. Captain, 
If I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same. But take a step back. All those missions you sent me on, all the success I brought back to you. Whatever the Colonel's after, it's not about my actions. There's gotta be something else. I don't know, Lieutenant. I'm caught in the middle. And something in me feels there's more to it, too. Whether what he's saying is true or not, don't know what you did to piss him off. To make yourself his target, technomancer or not. It's beyond me. Unfortunately, he's already called you in and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. The Colonel's waiting. Good luck. There he is. Zachariah, I was scared we were too late. Or what? What's going on? There's no time to talk about it. You're in danger. Victor called you in, didn't he? Yeah, wants to talk to me about- No, he doesn't. It's a trap. It's just an excuse to get you there so they can arrest you. They will do whatever necessary to make you talk. I don't know what you technomancers are hiding, but he's ready to do anything to find out. He's got power, but he would- Zach, listen to the girl. You stay away from that man. The crook, the, the, the pig- Thanks, Scott. You need to listen to us, Zachariah. I know it's hard to hear, but if you stay here, you're gonna die. Where would I even- We take a rover and go. The town's filled with ASC looking for you now, but I know a road that'll help us avoid most of the troops. Let's go, Zach. We need to go with the girl. No time to waste before that- that- that madman gets his hands on you. Now!
Let's head for the city of the North Altrins. Go! Lives are on the line here, not just that small. And I'd rather piss her off than move.
Last time, we're not here to damage the equipment. We're here to stop a terrorist. So get out of the way, now! Damn it, they're already here. Who the fuck do you think you are? It's my warehouse, you prick. If there was a terrorist here, I'm pretty sure I'd have seen his ass lurking around. So you're gonna... Hey, make yourself at home. Lieutenant, sorry to ruin the surprise, but your little mission ends here. Stop the traitor! You're driving. Get us out of Ophir now. Fine. Everyone in the rover. You okay, Zach? In one day. I find out Victor used everything I did as an officer against me, and I end up chased by my own people. Then one of my own soldiers turns out to be ASC, and I get involved in the armed robbery of a rover owned by my childhood corporation. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Misha. Surely the young lady would not be taking us to imagine this. I mean, rovers are amazing machines, but certainly they cannot transport one beyond the bounds of reality and reason. I am not keen on leaving abundance. Noctis is an amazing city, Scott. It's as real as Ophir, but more amazing than anything you've ever seen before. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure. Full of fairies and... and... Balderdash. <laughs> I'm sorry things went down the way they did. We didn't have a choice, though. The ASC after us and not a lot of time. Thanks for taking us wherever it is we're going. Thanks for the thanks, but it doesn't change the fact I still want to see your asshole head on a stake at some point. Shit, look what that stupid...
stupid creature did to my baby. The engine's fucked. Oh, I this. You didn't even leave me spare parts. You really... An ostrich. No doubt about it, it's a wild ostrich. Look, you see the spikes on its back? Unfortunately, the poor animal died, but I'm almost sure that... Well, according to the sky, we don't have much time before sunrise. Fortunately, we're not very far away. We better get a move on. It's a pretty good idea, because as I was about to tell you, these creatures are social. They rarely travel alone. We might find ourselves in the middle of a herd, and an angry ostrich can be very dangerous. Very good. Want to guide us, Nisha? And Amelia, leave that rover alone. As you said, you won't be able to fix it. And if you stay, you'll die. Isn't that what that bitch wanted? That I die? I hate you all. Stop it. We never wanted you to die. We need you. I know that you love that machine, but there's no time to cry over it. Come on.
They're trying to open the roof. You! Up there! Stop! Stop! It's Nisha! Listen to me! Stop! We'll take care of the creatures! I'm sorry, Nisha! I didn't... I'm stopping right now! But I'll only be able to open the doors for you once the area is completely secured! <laughs> So glad to see you. We were starting to get worried about you. The news from Ophir sounded a little chaotic. You look healthy. Worried? About me? Give me some credit. Let me introduce you to Zachariah Manser. He's the reason why I'm here. Look at that. The Technomancer who saved us from the Vori. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Happy to see you again. Now I understand why the Prince was insistent. He'll want to see you as soon as possible. The Prince? Dandolo. He rules our city. If I were you, I wouldn't keep him waiting. He loses patience quickly. There's nothing like fresh news for him to be on pins and needles. But don't worry. He's a charming man, and he loves Nisha. Very well. I'll go see him. Happy to see you in one piece, Zachariah. Beg? I feel like I got ripped off. Apologies. We were forced to improvise. Playing a simpleton is a great way to avoid attention when you are a mutant. You can go see the prince now, but come back later. There's something I would like to discuss. I will be near the sand sails. Wait up. Your name's Andrew, isn't it? We went to the academy together. But didn't we... I overheard you talking to Master Connor after I brought him to meet you. I guess you overheard. Very well. Come find me once you've met with the prince. We'll talk about it. Go now. Don't keep him waiting.
Hey there. What do you want, human? Sir, just came at a fortunate time. I just stocked new merchandise. I need some information. If it's about anything you see in here, I'm happy to help. Otherwise, I'm not sure I have what you need. Wanted to see me? Yes. I apologize once again for having to play this role in front of you, but the situation was a difficult one, and I could not risk blowing my cover. I understand. You're one of Dandolo's spies, too? No. I work for my people, even if Dandolo was a precious ally. I was in Ophir to plan an escape, but it was not exactly what I wanted to tell you about. I would like to offer you my services. You're also a mercenary? No, I am not interested in Serum, and a Technomancer ally, yes. It is rare for mutants to know someone with your talents. So if you need a hand or any information, you know where to find me. And maybe I will ask for your services once in a while. All right. What really happened with your mother? I must say I didn't understand much. That stone? The police's arrival? My mother was helping me as much as she could to carry out my mission. She would provide me with information, sometimes hide mutants on the run before they could leave the city. She was a wonderful woman, Zack, but someone turned her in. Fiorello heard and raced to get me out with your aid. Though how I yearned to save her, to get to the slums to warn her. But I knew I could not. You, though, could. The stone was a token of recognition. She knew what it meant. If she was turned in, she had to leave as soon as possible. And if she couldn't, the drawing was made with an ink made of jellyfish venom. But why give her that poison? I didn't want her to die, Zack. I loved my mother. But I knew what the ASC would do to her in their jail. If they caught her, she needed a way to avoid being tortured. When did you discover that you were a mutant? The first symptoms of mutation appeared when I was very young. I must say that I can't really remember very well. My mother noticed them, and she taught me how to hide the marks, even though I think that I didn't know what it meant. She was hoping to keep me close to her, but as soon as the first marks appeared in my face, they spotted me out right away. I will never forget my arrest, how violent they were toward my mother. I was just a kid. I was sent to one of the farms on the outskirts of town. That's where I learned what it meant to be a mutant. What's the mutant nation? You created it, right? It is a little overblown, but I was one of its founders, among many others. Of course, other mutants were living outside the city as runaway slaves, hidden here and there, stealing whatever they could find in order to survive. A small community had settled in Noctis and benefited from the hospitality of the merchants, who allowed them to move around freely. However, we did not have any way to defend ourselves or plan a future we were all spread out. A few of us decided to get together. We found a place, a very unique one, and we soon started doing it up, bringing in equipment and erecting houses. As for me, I especially wanted to free as many brothers and sisters as possible. So I went back to Ophir, and I realized that nobody cared about mutants, especially if they didn't look very smart. I began to help dozens of them escape. And our nation soon began to grow. There are a lot of us now, and I hope that all mutants will be able to live there someday.
Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. Tell me more about you growing up. What's there to say? I was a ward of the state in abundances centers. It was lonely and, you know, the other kids were assholes, but... I gotta tell you, those times my dad returned from his missions, when I got to see him, best times of my life. Wait, what? I thought the reason you'd been placed in a center was that your dad disappeared. Who the hell told you that? No, I was real young when they took me away. My parents were always off on missions and someone had to take care of me, you know? I don't even remember living with them. Honestly, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Sure. Sorry. Yeah. Of course. Besides your rovers, what else makes you happy here, Amelia? Nature. Not the bugs or animals and stuff. But the landscapes, you know? Sunsets, mountains scraping the sky, red water trickling down the hills in the spring, gray lichen floating in the morning breeze. Back in Ophir, I used to take the rover out before sunrise just to take it all in. Always managed to put things in perspective, you know? How small we all are. Amelia the poet philosopher. Who'd have thought it? Why you gotta be a smart ass? Aha, I'm not. I was being... Just never saw that side of you. The passion makes me want to take a rover out before dawn tomorrow. Well, let's go together. I've always wanted to share it with someone. Are you seeing anyone at the moment? What? You mean a boyfriend? Uh, no, not right now. You applying for the position? I mean... <laughs> Look at your face! <laughs> You can't even come up with something to say. <laughs> Listen, you don't look half bad, soldier. Won't take too much for me to cuddle up with you at night. You must have traveled a lot. Could you tell me more about what you discovered? You know, when I'm being sent out to explore, it's for prospecting. I drive around, take samples, map out the area, that kind of thing. I discovered two mines last year. We'll put them into service once we connect them with the shadow paths. Wow, it doesn't sound as exciting now that I think about it. But I don't care. Despite all of this, I can go almost anywhere. I see landscapes that others will never see, and sometimes I stumble across amazing places. I'm not doomed to remain under a shell of metal. <laughs>